Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tommy and welcome to Tommy Tech Outdoors. Today I'm going to show you how to do some minor repairs and maintenance on the Bixby Jet. So stay tuned. So if you're new to my channel and you like fishing, crabbing, kayaking, boating, or just spending quality time with family and friends outdoors, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that red subscribe button below and click the bell so you get notification of when I upload new content. All right guys, so today I'm gonna to show you how to do some minor repairs and maintenance on the Bigsby Jet. I've had my Bigsby Jet for um, over a year now, so I've actually um, done some damage to it. It's been, you know, scuffed up here. You know, I've, um, you know, had it scrape up against the ramps because I forgot to um, pull it up. I've gone through weeds, gone through grass. Um, I've actually broken a piece off back here. I'm gonna show, I'll show you uh, when I bring you guys in a little closer. But I um, have some replacement parts where I'm gonna replace the uh, pieces that I broke off. And then I'm also gonna show you some minor maintenance or some maintenance that you can uh, do to the Bigsby Jets, you know, to keep it in working order. So uh, I'm gonna take you guys in closer now so you can get a closer look of what I'm gonna be doing. All right guys, so now we're in a little closer so you guys can get a better look of uh, what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, first, I'm gonna show you the tools that you're gonna need. Um, you're gonna need an adjustable wrench or you can use some kind of locking pliers like the one that I have here. Um, and also, you're gonna need a um, hex wrench or Allen wrench. This is a it's a 3.0 millimeter. And then also you're gonna need some uh, dielectric grease, um, which I'll show you what that's used for later. But um, here's a closer look of my Bigsby jet. So you can see, you know, I've got some road rash or ramp rash actually from the ramps. You can see I got some here too. I've uh, bumped into quite a bit of timber also you can see here um, but that's some of the great parts about the Bigsby jet is you know it's uh, a lot of pieces are replaceable so if you do damage them you can replace a lot of the pieces and then the uh, piece that I actually broke off is uh, part of this kind of protective grill back here you can see right here um, there should be a um, another ring here like on this side you can see there's two rings. There's a ring here and then a ring here. And then I just broke this off. Um, so the nice thing is, again, you can replace it. And right here, this is where you're gonna need this uh, little hex wrench here. Um, we're gonna just undo the, uh, the three screws here. See the one, two, and then three here. So I'm just gonna start doing that now. Um, it's nice to have this longer one. Um, I just bought this on Amazon that came with a whole kit. Um, these actually kind of bend, these are kind of cheap, but it does the job. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unscrew these so I can take this, um, this little nozzle off right here. All right guys, so now all the screws are out, so you can see this nozzle piece comes off pretty nice and easy. Uh, one thing I did want to show you real quick is um, this piece actually I had to replace because I was using the um, Mirage Drive uh, insert, which is over here. Let me go grab that. Show it to you. So this is actually the Mirage Drive insert. I'll, um, this is where you can actually attach the Bixby Jet here. And then you can actually insert the, um, the uh, Bixby Jet right into your um, Mirage Drive um, hole and actually use the Bixby Jet in the front. So uh, that's what, I'm gonna show you the difference um, with the nozzles because you actually have to replace um, the one that comes with the big speed jet if you bought um, like I bought the um, the kit it's the um, big speed jet 
for Hobie Rudder and it came with this one and the difference between the two is you can see this whole thing is rounded here. You can see from the back better. Um, they're actually exactly the same size. Um, the difference is they just cut the, uh, the side here because this round piece is actually uh, too wide for it to fit through that mirage drive hole. So they've actually cut the sides here. So um, I actually don't use this piece anymore because I do use that mirage drive insert sometimes. But just wanted to show you the difference with that. So I actually replaced this already. But um, then the uh, next part you're gonna need is, uh, I'm gonna show you to do some, how to do some maintenance here on the prop. Uh, this is where your adjustable wrench will come in handy here. Uh, so you go ahead and adjust that and we're gonna take this uh, prop off. So what you're gonna need uh, when you take this off, because it actually, the prop will spin. So we'll need to uh, kind of hold it. Use the adjustable wrench. You can start taking it off. I just loosened it and then now I can, oops, don't drop that or lose it. But now I can actually take the prop off. And the reason that's important was uh, because when I took this in grass, I actually cleaned this off already. So there's probably nothing in it now. But what happened was I actually went into some weeds. You're not really supposed to take this into weeds or any uh, uh, grass. Um, but what happened was um, I actually had some get stuck right in here actually. Like you could actually see pieces. I was able to pick it out and then uh, what I found was when I took the, the prop off, there was actually a nice ring of grass or weeds or whatever right here. It was all dried up because you know it's, it was on there for a little bit. Uh, so I had to take that off so I could clean it. Um, you see this pin here, this is very important that you keep this pin, make sure that it's, uh, here's a better look right here, this pin here this pin right here so that pin actually you can see here on the uh, the prop that actually sits the prop sits right on the pin so you got to make sure you line it up when you put it back on so um, so if you go into some weeds uh, just I would recommend you know take off the prop clean all that off I mean it actually almost looked just like a, like a washer that was made out of weeds when I took it off so but again, putting it back on, you just, with these pins here and then the prop, you can see those little slots for the pin, just line them up. Then you're gonna put it right on and then uh, bolt it back down. Actually, I'm not gonna do that yet because I still need to take this grill off. So let's do that first. You can see here, it's, I can just push this up right there. Do the same on each side, just kind of slowly work it. And actually, let me show you the replacement piece. Where did that go? I've got the replacement piece right over here. It's actually right here. So it's actually the whole thing. So yeah, once I work these off, there you go. I should be able to kind of, there you go, pop right off. So that's the broken piece. So there's the broken piece right there. And then now here's the nice fixed piece. So then I'm just gonna do the reverse. Um, as you can see here, it's keyed also. Uh, can I get a good shot of that? I'm not sure. There you go, you can see right here how how these little, this little piece fits right in there. So, and then also it's keyed here too, you can see. Um, so it only fit one way, you can see right here. That's where that notch would fit. So let's line that up. 
So we've got that lined up. I'm just gonna make sure that these pieces here are lined up as well. And then I'm just gonna push it right on. Just kinda have to use my chest to uh, also push it down. Is it lined up? Oop, didn't have it lined up all the way. Hold on. There it goes. All right, so now I have that protective grill on. Um, you actually really do have to kind of take this piece and kind of push it against your body. And then these uh, little th these three pieces sticking out here, just kind of use these. So make sure you push on these to kind of push it in because uh, these are actually meant to break, you know, because if a rock hits it, um, you're kind of meant to meant to uh, take impact of the, the rock. So you could possibly break this. So make sure you uh, push on these pieces as you're pushing it in. Um, and then now, what we gotta do is put the prop on like I was showing you earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and again, you got those pins. So you gotta make sure you line up the prop with the pins. If I can get that in the shot, so there. There are the pins. There's a prop. I'm going to line it up. And it fits right on. And then I get the uh, the nuts. We're going to twist it right on. You're not supposed to over tighten this nut because then it will uh, prevent your. Uh, Big speed jet from turning if you over tighten it. You gotta hold the prop and just kinda tighten it down. Again, don't over tighten because then your prop will not spin. All right guys, so now that I have the, uh, the prop on, just gonna go ahead and place the nozzle here. I'm just gonna do the reverse, just take all the screws and use the Allen wrench, screw them down. All right, so now the uh, nozzle's on and uh, that's pretty much it for the uh, simple re repair that I did. Um, again, like what I said before, you can replace a lot of the pieces Luckily, I haven't had to replace my prop yet, but um, that's replaceable. Pretty much all of this is replaceable. So that's actually one of the great things about the Big Speed Jet is that it's, um, you can replace pretty much everything, almost everything in it, but I don't know about the inside. Haven't had any problems with that yet, but. Uh, so the reason you're gonna need this dielectric grease that I have here is that um, to prevent corrosion, what you should do is for all of the connectors, um, I cleaned this one out um, already, but is, uh, especially because I use mine in salt, is uh, you wanna squirt dielectric grease inside of the connectors um, just to help prevent corrosion, especially in salt water. I would still do it even if I just ran it in fresh water, you know, just kind of as a precaution anyways. Um, so uh, that's what this uh, dielectric grease is. So just make sure you're, you know, maybe after every season, you know, clean it out as best as you can and then put uh, fresh grease in there. Um, or if you use a lot, do it more often than that. So that's kind of the important things. And one really important thing that uh, you should do is make sure that when you connect, your big speed jet is make sure you get a good connection on it. Um, like here you can see it's this is keyed here so you can only put it in one way and then on the big speed jet itself it's the same so I could only put it in this way yeah so make sure when you connect them you make sure that they you push it all the way in 
So in this example, so I got it there, push it, make sure it's pushed all the way down. See, so now that's really in there now. So that's all the way down and then you screw it in. Um, that seems to be a common problem and that'll actually prevent your Bixby jet from working. And then you can go ahead and uh, push it on and then clip it. But that's a really big thing too, is to make sure you get these connectors in all the way because you really do have to kind of push down a little bit. And it's the same goes for also on the, uh, the battery side is make sure that it's uh, connected well on the, uh, the battery as well. All right guys, so that was how to do some minor repairs and maintenance on the Bixby Jet. Um, but stay tuned because I'm gonna make a video doing a full review on the Bixby Jet now that I've had it for over a year. I'll let you know my personal experiences about it and give you my opinion about it. So um, if you have any uh, questions about it, let me know in the uh, comment section below. And then also, if you're interested in getting a Bixby Jet, um, please use my affiliate link in the description below um, as it'll you know, help support my channel and that'd be uh, much appreciated. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe for future videos. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.